Hello! We are here at the San Diego Zoo, and I'm joined today on this wonderful broadcast with my friend, who normally is not very interested in doing collaboration streams, Maya Higa from Alvea Sanctuary. Hello, We're going to be everybody. going up to some animals, and I'm going to try to touch them. No, you're not. I'm going to try to not touching pet. anything today. I'm going to try to. I have two goals today: find Mudang. That's okay. Stupid. Super That's cool. number one. It's a very good goal. It's an honorable goal. Some might say it is the most honorable goal. And my second goal of the day is going to be to pet Mudang. And my third goal, which is a secret one, is going to be to kidnap Mudang and, uh, and bring him back home to my house, where he will be living the rest of his days as a happy hippo. Mudang, for those of you who don't know, is a pygmy hippo. Do they even have pygmy hippos here? They do. Do they? They have pygmy and, and <clears throat> big hippos. Okay, well that's bag secured. <laughs> Good luck, San Diego. I will be stealing <laughs> one of the fucking pygmy hippos. He's joking. He's joking. I'm not joking. Stop. If, if given the opportunity, I, I would love to pet the hippo. Anyway, yeah. um, that's it. And we have uh, we have the wonderful Alves crew also with us. They're, they're just walking about. They're just walking about. They're, I told them they could be on camera if they want to, but I don't think they want to be on camera. We're also... Suspiciously, not so suspiciously surrounded by house and happy heads already, even though I was like, let's do this as a secret. This is, for the record, entirely. This what we're doing today is entirely because of Maya. Right, I right. was not even gonna stream right, this morning, relax. so everybody say thank you, Maya. Okay. W Maya. Maya's got W aura, she's got W hunger, okay? She does. She has W hunger and W aura because this morning I it, it, I was supposed to be going back home. At 5 p.m. I have uh, Pacific time. I obviously have my CNN, uh, uh, the, the Misinfo Nation documentary reveal, which I was supposed to live react to. I had all this shit si uh, lined up, but then my fucking bitch ass fear and crew were like, oh, we have yeah. a lot of stuff that we need to do here in San Diego. So I, I hate like, all of those guys. Me too. Especially Cutie and Cinderella. Cutie. So, so she is are. she is literally the reason why we're doing this today. I, this at is the my San favorite Diego zoo, zoo in the nation. San Diego Zoo, San Diego Safari Park, San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance has the two of them. We're at the zoo today. Um, the safari park is far away. It's um, yeah, it's like 40 minutes out. I I I've been here before. That I didn't okay. go to the safari park. Okay. I was trying to get us like a like a safari park situation as well. I tried to get us like a private tour. Uh, unfortunately, they're super booked. It's super busy today. It's a beautiful day out here in San Diego. It is, it is currently, so nice, yeah, it is, it's like perfect zoo weather. It's 78 degrees. It's a little windy, so it makes it nice and comfortable as well. So I'm very excited to go and, and uh, again, like I said, kidnap Mudang. Uh, you or don't at least a phone one of, wrist holder, loser. I don't. I'm not, I'm not. I got you guys on lock. Yeah, I'm not a pro like you guys. You guys both have it. Uh, shouts out to Connor Space and uh, the rest of the Alves crew for uh, helping put this production together once again. Uh, in last, it's just totally last second. So we're, let's uh, let's head inside. I bought all the tickets. I did buy all that the tickets. That's really nice. Yeah. Have your moment. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you as well. Oh, nice Get in here. I was trying to be like, oh, I'm coming with a famous animal conservation person, and they were just like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Nice to meet you guys. Have a great day. I don't know. You want to just wander? Here, while it, it while it's working, you want to give the intro, and then we can we can go wherever you go. You're the you're the lead today. We're okay. letting we're letting women lead. I'm a feminist. Okay. Um. So just for today, make no mistake. People ask me all the time, uh, what makes a zoo ethical? How do you know if it's a bad zoo? Et cetera, et cetera. San Diego Zoo is obviously AZA accredited. Uh, so Association of Zoos and Aquariums, that means they're regulated for their animal welfare standards. That means a portion of the money that they raise goes directly into conservation efforts. San Diego Zoo goes way above and beyond in conservation efforts. So they literally, you know California condors, like the huge bird? Huge, okay, we'll no. see them today. Um, the, the huge there were, bird? The huge birds, condors. Birds are scary. Okay, so condors, there were like 22 left in the wild, right? They captured them. 22? 22. There's only 22 of them there shits? There was. Listen to me. Okay, I'm listening. They captured Sorry, chef. them. They started, <laughs> they started a captive breeding program, and San Diego Zoo has now made that population over 500. They released That sounds weird like, when you them. say it like that, though. You know what I mean? A captive breeding program. Unless they like... Do you think they I'm enjoy... Sorry, should they have let them Do you die? think they enjoy the fucking? Like, do you think they enjoy the breeding program? 
Or do you think they're like, oh god, here we go again? They're like pandas. You know how like pandas Are they doing hate AI the fuck. No. Um, I think they're fine with it. It's on. But thank you for your concern. I was yeah. I want to make sure that it's ethical. So, they're not. It is ethical. They're not like, yo, you have to fuck, and they're like, oh. It's a great life. Yeah. San Diego Zoo brought California condors back from extinction. Um, they're also working on bringing, which, which was it? I always get the white and black rhinos mixed up. Southern, northern. They're bringing a species of uh, white rhino back from extinction as well. Um, they have a frozen zoo. San Diego Zoo has a frozen zoo. Which is How just, is that even possible? It's like 80 degrees right now. It's a zoo full <laughs> of frozen sperm. Oh, when you said frozen zoo, I thought you meant like they just freeze that shit up. No, no, no. Like they all the... A frozen zoo where they have a ton of frozen sperm um, to maintain genetic diversity and to potentially bring back species if we have disasters, which are happening all the time in the world. Isn't that kind of like... Um, you gotta stop that shit. I don't like that. What? I don't like that you do that. You want one? Absolutely not. It goes. It's pretty good. Okay. I like it. Does that make sense to you guys? Like a sperm frozen bank? It, sperm? Is a, it is a sperm bank, yes. Yeah. Um, don't they have like a... Um, don't they have like a mountain in Utah or something where they have a lot of like cum inside of the mountain in a similar way for like humans? Today's gonna suck. <laughs> Why did you think this was gonna be Today's anything gonna different suck. than what it has been before when we've collaborated around animals? We need a map. Okay. She got. You guys wanna get out? She's running to get another map. Utah cum mountain. Yeah, I mean, that's. What do you think frozen semen is? It's cum. <laughs> Let's go this way. Come, Harris. All right, we're moving. Don't say that. You want to see? Whoa, can we get on these things? Yes. The gondola or whatever? Yeah. You want to see a uh, freaking... Who's this guy? <laughs> Harry M. Weedforth, MD. Founder of the Zoological Society of San Diego. I mean, this is sus. When someone is born in like 1800s, you know that motherfucker's got badass ideas. He might have done a lot for zoological conservation efforts or whatever. But don't ask him about black people, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm slandering this guy, but <laughs> yeah, that's my rule of thumb. If you see a white guy with a name like Harry M. Weegefield and he's born in the 1800s, you know, yeah, he was a doctor of racism. <laughs> you want to see some Komodo dragons? Yes. Cool. I saw them in Australia. But what? like from afar. Really? That's so... Dude, I gotta go to Australia. Yeah, the Australian zoo that we went to was insane. Like actually insane. Cool. Kenneth Griffin, Komodo Kingdom. So Kenneth owns these Komodos? No, he sponsored them. He bought them? The last time... Where are they? Here you go. What is it, too hot for them? They're just like, eh. Right here. What the heck? Where are they? Where are you? I'm like a, well, that's a, that's ironic because like, don't they also, if they lick you one time, it's over, right? They hunt no, you forever. No, it's not licking. It's, they, they have to chew on you, but they are venomous, yeah. Yeah, they like, but they, don't they just like target you? No. If they target you once, it's Jover? No. What's he doing? Walking around. So, you think you can take this one, I assume? No, I can't. No, you think, I think... You don't think you can take this, but you think no, you can take No, Komodo dragons are vicious. That's a trick question. You just asked that specifically because... You asked that specifically because you know they're fucking vicious. Aren't no, they? I asked because you think you can take a bear. So, thinking you can't no, take I this, can't a bear take, is insane. I can't take a bear. I can vibe a bear. I can't fight a bear. If a bear wanted to fucking kill me, I'd be dead. I'm saying that if I... But if I see a bear in the wild, the bear will catch my vibes and be like oh dude you're chill like you're just like me you have a bear at home like he'll 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 feel the scent of kaya that come oh he's coming back i thought he was leaving he's like fuck you guys but he's coming back actually can you guys imagine like dressing and looking like a son and saying that about your vibes and a bear yeah the bear would be like damn dude that's so sick you got the you got the Watanabe collab, Carhartt pants, like. I'm so embarrassed. You got the Rig Owens, you got the Rig Owens, there's a lot of cream on them still. Ew. <laughs> what do you mean? I got cream pie. Ew. I got cream pie, like, I got bukkake. <laughs> um, chat, Komodo dragons are endangered. I didn't, I, I actually didn't know that, that's sad. Um, trafficking, wildlife trafficking. 
Pet trade, maybe? Stupid. How stupid. Imagine. What do they they want? It? Who the fuck is like? I want a Komodo dragon as a pet, dude. You need Status to be institutionalized. Level, yeah. like, like people who want gators and shit. You need to go to jail, dog. If you're like, I feel like that's a that's a trait of an unwell person. You know what I mean? If they're like, oh, I want a Komodo dragon as a pet. I don't know. Yeah, Maybe I'm I'm a I'm a little bit too anti lizard. Hassan. Chat. I'm moving him out of the populated area. Don't worry. Habitat made possible oh by gosh. dragon. Actual dragons. They they're real. Oh, you want to know the freaking coolest thing at the zoo? This is where the show is. So we'll come back here. Okay. Um, you want to see the bugs? Uh, not really. But I mean, I guess you like the bugs. Come so. on. <clears throat> Chat, we're gonna go see the bugs. Okay. Uh, there's a bunch of them. It's called spineless marbles. Why is it called spineless marbles, Hassan? Because they don't have a vertebrae. Take it. Because they're scared. They're spineless. They're yeah, cowards. Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't take any hard stances on political issues. That's what it is. Dude, my man is doing some crazy work <laughs> with the camera. He's walking backwards. Like, actually. Very nice. Okay. Marsh could learn a thing or two from you, Connor. He's just... <laughs> Ooh. Cute, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. It's back. It's back. It's Maya. back. Wait, we're back. Maya. We're back. Oh, it's back. <laughs> I didn't see you. Why are you looking so high up? <laughs> Look. What is this? Dragon-headed Katie dead. Bro, if I see this out in the wild, it's over. I'm dead. Don't say that. I'm saying, like, oh, are, they, okay. are they poisonous or venomous? No. They can bite like a motherfucker. They can bite? That's It's over. That's what I'm saying. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's terrifying. It's a grasshopper. That is so... It's just a grasshopper. Insanely scary. Grasshoppers can't hurt you. It's a big one though. These are huge. Yeah. Put your hand up there, Maya. <laughs> yeah, pretty big. Okay, dude. Whatever. Whatever. Scary. Oblong winged catitid. Winged. Oblong winged catitid. Katie did. Katie did? Yeah. It, okay, say this one then. Oblong winged Katie did. No, the underneath it. Amblocorpha oblongifolia. Okay, that you did a lot better than I thought you were gonna. Thank you. Oh, they're all right there. Yeah, look at them, they're pink. That's crazy. They're beautiful. Yeah, they don't look Yo, they look like turnips. Aren't they cool? I would, like, if this dropped in my Middle Eastern food, I would have assumed that this is just like a, what's the, the pickle turnip? It does look like <laughs> Or like a ginger, like a slice of ginger. See, so they're beautiful, chat. We love bugs. All right. Oh, they said we back. Yay. Uh, there were no butterflies to be seen. Sorry, guys. Whoa. Okay, what do we got, we got here? Too sleepy. Is it hot today? The red panda. <gasps> Oh, red panda. If you don't see red pandas on warm days, they might be resting in their cool back area. Oh, there it is. Oh my God. Okay, this one I understand why someone would be like, I want that as a pet. Okay, well. Which yeah. is messed up and we hate that. Yeah, yeah. I hate right. that. I would never want a red panda as a pet. They're nice really song. ugly and bad. Okay, well you don't have to say that. They're bad pets. Don't take a red panda out for a pet. If you see one in the Himalayan mountain ranges of Asia, in the wild, and you're like, I want to take that home with me, don't. It's not for you. It's not for you. Why? Endangered. There you go. Red pandas live in thick bamboo conifer forests. They eat mostly bamboo leaves, but also a bit of fruit and insects, or even bird eggs. I'll have you know. That was so natural. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I bet you eggs. didn't. People cutting down forests unfortunately harm the red pandas, but now there are efforts worldwide to create protected areas, safe for them. <coughs> How come you don't have a red panda at Alvea's? Um, there's, well, yeah, it's really hot. <coughs> They're it's endangered. Hot in there's too? not a ton, like, in facilities around the nation. I think they're kind of hard to come by. Dude, that thing is chilling, dude. That's so sick. He's cute, huh? That's me for real. <laughs> he's got the, one, like his, his he's got arm. the arm. The arm is like leaning off. The tail oh, is just cute. fluttering in the wind. As oh, he's he's waking up. He's waking up. He's like, man, this dude won't shut up. He's he's itching. He's like, ah, my face getting getting real itchy. 
What would the accent of a red panda be if you were to do one? Chat, that's Maxine. <laughs> what are the accents in the Himalayan mountain ranges yeah. of Asia? Be like, top of the hour, mate. I don't think that's I'm a red what, panda. I don't think that's what they tell Yeah, like. if you no longer want to see these fucking ads, all you need to do is subscribe for five dollar reviews or for free with a Twitch Prime. I'm Australian. I'm an Australian red panda. It's actually, really it's not bad. Answer. Yeah. Thank you. Thank. Wow. Donut burger. That's, yo. What the dude? Look at this. A donut burger. Ew. That. Now that's a. That's America right That's there, gross. baby. That right there. Peak America. Yuck. Do you want a lollipop? Maybe. Shut you up. What? You're so mean. You're so mean to me. <laughs> Where are we going next? We're looking for a bathroom. I thought there'd be one here. All right, Chad, we're back in business. We're rocking and rolling. Everything's okay. Nobody freak out. Everybody's uh, no. fine. Don't be so anxious. God. That's where the entrance is. I'm surprised there's no bathroom. Look at the flamingos! Yo! That's crazy! Oh my god! Are, aren't flamingos like super aggressive randomly? No. Or am I crazy? No, that they're show that I feel they're like so some chill. of these birds that look majestic are just like also very violent animals. No, they're so chill. Flamingos are cool. Flamingos are cool. They are majestic though. Oh, it's the geese. It's the geese that's like really, really violent, right? Like the. Canadian, geese can be, geese are really Canadian geese are like, oh, yeah. they come after you, I think. Wait, wait. Um, San Diego Zoo, I would like for you to know that I'm a conservationist and I try my best. And oh, I have an animal sanctuary and I love you guys and I don't want to be, I don't want to be uh, on the no Damn. zoo list. <laughs> she literally this morning was like, oh, I've been eight times, it's my favorite zoo. Like she said, it's so my favorite. Sad if I get on the no zoo. List. She said it's my favorite zoo. I would love to go. Like she's the reason why we're here. So, <laughs> I guess maybe I shouldn't say that. If they are unhappy with the final product, <laughs> they're gonna be like, uh, no, "You are good. banned because." Okay. You, um. There's gonna be a bathroom over here. You are banned because you brought that demon here. Hi. Hey. Um. I'm a big fan of. Thank your, you. Uh, wine about it. Thank you so much. Not fear end. I'm a fear end fan. No, too. it's okay. Let's go. It's we got. We got another one. Yeah, totally. With you too, Hassan. Hi. I thought you guys wanted to say hi. What's Can going on? Yeah, of course. Pardon? I was like, why about it? Thank you so much. <laughs> what do you think of your in? It's okay. <laughs> no, I do watch it too, unfortunately. No, but I like watching both your He's slandering. Thank you. I saw the notification and I was like, no shot. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, nice have a good day. Have a good one. You too. Okay, Hassan's so gonna pee. We're gonna come over here. Um. And I'm gonna anxiously and rapidly tell you guys everything that I love about this zoo. <laughs> I don't wanna be banned either. I love it. Okay, all right, all right. Um, here so I said this at the, at the beginning of the stream, so if you guys weren't here, um, I'm gonna say it again. A lot of times people ask me uh, about what makes an ethical zoo or what's, what's a good zoo, what's a bad zoo, stuff like that. San Diego Zoo is genuinely, and I said this at the beginning of the stream, is my favorite zoo in the nation. Um, they're AZA accredited, uh, so Association of Zoos and Aquariums, which means that they're regulated for their animal welfare standards. It also means that part of the money that they make goes into conservation efforts, but San Diego Zoo is like next level. Um, on conservation efforts. Crazy. So um, one of the examples I said this morning is the California condor. At one point there were 22 of them left in the wild. Uh, San Diego Zoo was able to bring those birds into captivity and do a breeding program in captivity and they've released 500 of them, um, which is incredible. Uh, so they're doing incredible work. They've literally brought back a species. They have a frozen zoo. Uh, which is a giant frozen sperm bank of a bunch of different semen um, so that they can maintain genetic diversity in captivity and bring back more species. I'm obviously not a representative of the zoo, but this is all stuff that I've learned here. I've been here like probably like seven or eight times. Um, they're so years old. they're 100 years old. They're huge. Uh, there's the San Diego Zoo here and there's the Safari Park. Uh, if you guys are in the U.S., if it was like, Maya, I can go to one zoo, what is it? I would say San Diego. So. They set the standard. They set the standard. Please don't let his presence detract from mine, San Diego Zoo employee viewers. We're very different individuals. 
It's and I, true. I don't. It's not true. She, she literally condones everything I do and say nope. on a daily nope. basis. Nope. Her appearance on my stream is nothing short of an endorsement. Nope. For everything, okay. any, and all Chill. things I have said right. and will continue to say, including, included, but not limited to animal conservation.